everyone. So this is going to be a spin-off from Jacob and I's different Dollar Tree videos that we did. And we decided what we want for supper tonight is breakfast burritos. And we're going to use some of the Cajun style seasoning from the $5 mystery Dollar Tree video. And the Frank's Red Hots original from my son's Dollar Tree haul video. And I'm going to start by turning my burner on six and putting a good amount of oil in there and I have here two peeled potatoes and one peeled and washed and I'm gonna just grate those right into that frying pan I can't do it around the camera. I'll be back after I get them grated. Okay, make sure you rinse that grater down immediately because you will never get that potato off if you let that set. Okay, there's my potato. Now, Jacob and I talked about um, <clears throat> how we wanted to make this, what we wanted to use. Um, so, he's currently on the phone. I don't know as if... He'll be here to cook with me, but we have pre-discussed exactly how this meal is going to be made. So, okay, I'm just going to stir that potato around a little bit so it gets a little oil on all of it. And I'm going to go ahead and add some of this seasoning. Now, this seasoning tastes... I don't know how it tastes. It smells like the old flavoring that was on the Wise barbecue chips back in the 80s. I don't know if they still use that same seasoning or not, but that's, it smells exactly like that. So we're going to put some of that right on those potatoes and give it another stir. It's hard for me to do these videos that people do that's like $5 supper challenge or all of that. My grocery prices are high here in Maine and I shop various stores to get the best price on stuff. And I don't do a lot of cooking where I'm making from prepackaged stuff and only using five ingredients or whatever. I buy regular ingredients and use a little bit of several things so most of my recipes are very frugal if you're looking for frugal recipes okay now we're gonna get started on the eggs we are going to crack eight eggs Now, normally I would put some onion and green pepper in here if I had it, or dehydrated onion and green pepper, but Jacob said no, he didn't want that, so we will just use the eggs. I do have some fresh green pepper I can put on mine afterwards.
Okay, to the egg, we're going to add a little bit of salt. A little bit of onion powder. And we're going to add just a touch of the Cajun seasoning. You don't need a whole lot because we put some in the potato. And I'm just going to add a little canned milk here. You can use regular milk. If you don't have milk, you could use a splash of water. You could use nothing. Just use what you have. <clears throat> Okay, I've diced up some tomato from my Misfits Market haul, and I have a little bit of the organic plain whole milk yogurt we can put on top of these. Um, if you have sour cream, that would work, or if you don't have any of that, just skip it. And then... We are going to use our Misfits Market um, wraps, tortillas, whatever you want to call it, with the avocado oil. Um, use whatever wraps you have. And these are the whole wheat with avocado oil and kosher salt. All right. The potato is still cooking. Okay, you can see the potatoes browning up pretty good, so we'll go ahead and get the eggs cooked now. I've got the pan on medium, and I prefer using a Teflon pan for this. I've got a tablespoon of real butter. You can use margarine or oil. Jacob, you want to come try a bite of this potato and let us know what the seasoning tastes like on just the potato? Okay, make sure it's cool so you don't get burned. Does it taste like wise barbecue potato chips? Because that's what the seasoning smelled like. No, it tastes like smoky seasoning salt. Is it good? Yeah, it's not as strong as I thought it was going to be. Do you need to put more? It's kind of savory. Okay. Like there's a an after thing that almost feels like I want to say limey. Okay. <laughs> makes yeah, sense. it does. It's kind of like that. It's not real strong. I thought it would be like real spicy. There's a little bit of an afterburn, but it's really just like a smoky season. Okay. But it's good. It's really it's good. good. You recommend it? Yeah, but I would go heavy with it. More on the potatoes. I think so. Okay. Okay, at Jacob's recommendation, we're going to add a little more. He says not a ton more, but. So to me, that means a sprinkle like that across the top. Oh gosh, see how nice that's browning up? It 
that makes a good burrito when it gets real brown like that. You've got to be patient, though, to get potatoes brown. Give yourself enough time. Okay. Now over for the eggs. we got the butter all melted. I'm going to go ahead and add all of our eggs. Now, nobody wants crusty scrambled eggs, especially not my son. So... The key to that is to just simply keep them moving in the pan. Don't give them a long time sitting. I prefer a wooden spoon for this. So this is the scrambled eggs when they're all cooked. And then I had some pepper jack sliced cheese from the deli. And Jacob wanted that on the egg, so we laid that on top, put the cover on, and then this is me showing you that we're using the real bacon bits, and we just sprinkled those all over the top, a generous amount. This made enough that we have plenty left for breakfast okay I'm starting to get my plate fixed here and then Jacob wants to show everybody his plate so I have the hash brown and egg mixture and I'm adding some of the hot sauce and then I put some of that fresh green pepper on and a little bit of tomato. And then I take the yogurt and I just barely drizzle just a tiny little bit along the edge. And now I roll it up and then I popped this into the microwave for 30 seconds. Hi guys, so I wanted to take a minute and review the Frank's Red Hot um, Hot Sauce and the Cajun Seasoning and the burritos for you. Um, that seasoning was not hot. It was just the right amount of spices. If you see that, get some. It was amazing. Um, the Frank's Red Hot, we both agreed. It was not that much better. It really wasn't worth the extra money. If you see the Dollar Tree brand, it's a bigger bottle, and we thought it was very comparable. Jacob intends on trying some of the other flavors of the Frank's Red Hot if he sees it in the grocery store because he's wondering if some of the other ones are better just as an experiment and kind of fun. Uh, the burritos, I say they're the best breakfast burritos I've ever had and we make a lot of burritos and we buy a lot of burritos different places. Make those. They were not too spicy, even with the pepper jack cheese. They were just the right amount of flavors. I can't explain it. They were just amazing. Jacob says he gives them a four and a half star rating, and I give them a five star rating. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Bye.